This is Stacey Ivel from Integrity First Technology Solutions, and in this video, we will be going over how to redact items with a certain pattern from a document. For the sake of this example, we are looking at a sample contract between test company A and my company, IFTS. And for the sake of this example, we will want to redact any email addresses that are associated with test company A, but leave in any email addresses that are associated with IFTS. To do so, we first need to go to Tools and select the Redact tool. Select Mark for Redaction and then go to Find Text. You'll receive a warning from Adobe Pro and select OK. And the first question it asks is where would you like to search? You want to select in the current document and then we're deciding what we want to search for. So in this case we want to search for patterns and Adobe by default gives you multiple patterns to search for. They can search for phone number, credit card, social security numbers, email addresses, and dates. Another thing that they also can do is allow you to add your own patterns via the Adobe XML file that handles the patterns. So I've also added Canadian social insurance number. But in this case, we are going to be looking for email addresses. So select email addresses and then click on search remove text. As you can see, it went through the whole document and it found two instances of emails. The first one, because it's at iftsdesign.com, is associated with my company, so we don't want to redact that one. However, the second one is test company A's point person's email. So we'll want to make sure that that is checkmarked and that's the email that we want to make sure is redacted. So once we've decided all of the things that we need to have redacted from the search results, we want to click on mark checked results for redaction. As you can see, it has come into the document and now because it's outlined in that red box, you know that it's marked for redaction. Also, if we hover over it, you can see a preview of what it will look like when it is redacted. To apply those changes, click on apply. Again, you get the, you are about to permanently remove all content that's been marked for redaction warning, select OK. And now our redactions have been successfully applied. It also asks if you'd like to find and remove hidden information in your document. I always suggest clicking yes for this, but for the sake of time, I'm going to click no in this video. Now you can see that we've applied the changes because this apply is grayed out. And the last step is to save your document. So go to the save button, select a save location. As you can see, Adobe helps us out by putting underscore redacted in the title of the document. Click on save. And now your redactions are permanent in that document. As you can see, we can hover over it and it still says redacted.